On this trip, Rich, Phil, Caleb and I are off into the Kaimanoas for something a little different. We will be part of a management hunt with the Seeker Foundation, whose vision is a healthy seeker hunting resource thriving in resilient natural habitats valued by stakeholders. Just landed, just been dropped by the heli helicopter in Waimarino. Um, we're just going to camp up behind us up here, up off the river. Um, it's going to be good, good hunting up and down these river flats. We've been told, and there is some 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 terrace country up behind us that we're going to go have a look at as well. So so far, weather's good. Um, long might continue, but it's spring. We'll see. After setting up camp we get straight to it, with Rich and Phil heading downstream and Caleb and I heading upstream. Caleb and I slowly stalk for a kilometre or so and then head up a good ridge hoping to get into some of the smaller head basins on the true left of the Waimarino River. There is a tonne of sign but no matter how cautious we are we can't seem to bump anything, only hearing one whistle late in the day. We return to camp lusting after Richard's butter chicken. Today's, uh, on today's menu is butter chicken. Nice. What you got there? Oh, this is uh, garlic rice. Oh, nice. And butter? Butter and garlic? Yeah, butter and garlic. I yeah. uh, mean, because look at this. Ah. Look oh, nice you, ton, mate. you beauty. That looks bloody mean, mate. Thank you. It's alright. Good job. Oh, Chelsea Winter. Cheers, Chelsea Winter. Oh, cheers, Chelsea. Venus is butter chicken after about a 15k walk <laughs> with two beers. Oh, cheers, right. Rich, mate. Oh, right. Champion. It's today's learnings, bro. Just keep at it. Yeah? Keep at it. Perseverance. And Pops is okay? Uh, yeah, the one that squealed at me, she sort of got a bit far ahead. She's getting a bit too enthusiastic, so I'm just going to rein her in a bit there. Um, it's steep in places. It's bloody steep in places. Uh, day two of the hunt. Um, had a bit of a sleep in this morning. Uh, Caleb and uh, Phil have, uh, I think, gone either end of the river to have a bit of a scout around and see if they can pick something up this morning. Um, didn't really get it out of them last night, but Phil saw one, almost got a shot on one yesterday, and, oh, Rich saw two as well, um, but wasn't lucky enough to get a, to get a shot on. They were pretty quick and got away from them. Um, pretty cool this morning. Just behind me, there's, uh, this morning there's some uh, some fuel. I don't know if you can see behind me in the in the river, which is really cool to see. So, um, uh, blue duck native to New Zealand. Um, so yeah, there's one one there and one there. So um, 
yeah, good to see. There's uh, heaps of kaka and um, all sorts of other stuff around. It's a neat place. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to go so I don't run into Phil and Caleb. And um, yeah, hopefully we get a little bit of hunting action. I've got to get back at about 3 o'clock and put a pork roast on. Bit of a slow afternoon today. Um, gone down the Waimarino River. Um, Phil told me about a good slip um, where he'd seen a seek of hind. Um, so I popped down, spent a few hours um, glassing at the stuff. No luck for me, unfortunately. Um, today I'm on cooking, so I've got to shoot back and start a pork roast on the um, on the camp oven. So um, I think I need to be back by about three o'clock to um, to get that on on time for the boys. Um, so a bit of a lazy day today. Hopefully the other fellas have had a bit more luck than me. This is where Phil went through yesterday. You can see Phil's footprints there, there. And a, um, a deer has come across since then and walked over his footprints. So pretty recent sign through here. Good to see. What this is here is a stoat trap, also catches rats. Um, you would have seen this morning, uh, did a bit of a video and you can see fuel in the river. Uh, the reason this is a bit of a sanctuary for them is because there's traps like this all along the um, edge of the river each side. These traps are um, put in and maintained by the Seeker Foundation um, and part of my membership, the Seeker Foundation uh, and others membership and um, all goes towards uh, this project, um, which is a really good system, you know, hunters out there doing the conservation on the ground, which is really awesome. Bit of glassing, no go. Yeah, I glassed up maybe. I found a really good spot actually. <coughs> um, it's like this big piece of um, manuka, like that over there. Yeah. And part of the river runs north to south, so it gets it'll get east and west sun. Oh yeah. yeah. So I get morning and evening. So um, nothing there. Are you gonna give that another crack, Kaya, later on, or see what happens tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow morning. Last day of the hunt, boys. Look at, today is do or die. <laughs> so Phil and, Phil and Caleb doing their thing, but uh, um, the A team's teaming up. Me, Rich, and Mexican chicken. We're gonna nail it today with spice. <laughs> Hannah, I've got a bone to pick with you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this since buddy Stuart Island. That's your handwriting, eh? Hey? Yep, yep. oh, we just found That's it. His writing. Rich and I part company from Caleb a kilometre upstream. We head onto the true right hand side of the Waimarino and head up a steep ridge. We soon find ourselves in thick horopito scrub with little to no sign to speak of. A little despondent, we sit down, take stock and refuel. On the way home, just opposite the helicopter landing site, Rich and I find ourselves in some awesome terrace country. We slowly stalk along here and it feels like a deer could pop out at any moment. 
but again, nothing happens for us. We soon find ourselves back at camp, where Caleb has whipped up a real mean feed. Thank you, Caleb. What you got on the go? Oh, I don't know what. Where's your, where's your sticky stick? Done hand Bit of. Uh, Is this a sticky stick? Yep. Bit of veg, bit of meat, bit of living herbs and spices. Oh, look at it. That is bloody something else. Caleb, this curry is on point, mate. You have chili. chili. You have outdone yourself. Thank you very much. Oh, not about the greater. <laughs> After dinner, Caleb, Rich and I have a debrief on the trip. Now, I mean, it'll be nice if Phil gets an animal. It'll, it'll be good to take some meat home, but mm, honest to God, it's like 20% of the trip, eh, if we get something, to be honest, for me. It's, it's, mm, it's, it's coming out and being in it, you know. Oh, I shouldn't be here and wander around the dog and with the dog in the bush. Yeah. Mm. Well, you learned a lot with her, eh? Yeah, that's right, you know. You can got take some stuff to work on and it's good. And she had fun and she's learned a lot too. Yeah. I feel like in this over the last few days I've learned a ton. Like I've, I've never bush stopped before. Yeah. And that first day we flew in, it was a long day and then you punished me up that hill and punished me down that hill again. Yeah. I felt quite broken but then going out yesterday by myself I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yes. <laughs> You get better each day, eh? Like, yeah, and then yeah, today yeah. I was just felt like I was just cruising. Like I yeah. think going in the same direction each sort of day, mm. like you pick out little bits. Like oh, I know this bit, or I know what this is yeah, really yeah. like, and you're like. Well, you get to know you get to know the country that you're hunting in, you know, and that's why mm. you know a lot of people go to all sorts of different places mm. to hunt in. But it's worth going back to the same place because you find those special spots. What works? Every place has got its different flavour, eh? But mm. yeah. Yeah. And like even through here, like the the bush is quite different in different areas. Mm -hmm. Oh, it opens out and there's those plateaus. Yeah. If you'd told me on the other side that we'd be stuck in Horopito Forest the whole way, mm. um, I probably I would have changed my mind of where we went today. Yeah, but I liked those terraces on the way oh, down. That was that cool. was worth it. that yeah. whole climb was worth it for going through those terraces. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, no, that was nice, but. How far from this way are the terraces? Oh. They're, they're just across the river. Yeah, it's literally from where the helicopter landed. Yeah. You go straight across the river and straight up, like you could be up there and glassing it yeah. within half an hour or something, eh? Yeah, oh, wow. you probably, well, yeah. it would take you longer than it did for us to get down, but yeah. Mm. Mm. But no, like, I mean, yeah, if Phil doesn't get one, you know, say la vie, it's about coming out and mm. enjoying it, eh? And, mate, the cooking in the camp oven's been on point. Yeah, mm. man, it's it been, been awesome. so good, yeah. And this is a bit of a different buzz, like you know, a lot of lot of stuff you see is guys glassing and then yeah. stalking. This is a different buzz all together. It's a mental game, you know. You got to keep yourself motivated. It's sort of like one day cricket versus test cricket. Yeah. You got to keep yourself motivated for a long time and, yeah. and keep your concentration, and you know. Lucky with the weather. Yeah. Mm, this is not what I expected based on the forecast. I expected to be sitting under this tarp the whole day. Yeah, the whole time. Right? I was expecting <laughs> this a lot too. Yeah. Regardless of the outcome, good trip. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I think because you were going slower and with bush talking like that, I just feel like I've seen heaps mm. than I would if I was hiking through. Mm. Yeah. Like, I've seen some of those little, I just pointed that other one out to you, that little bright purple fungus. I oh, saw yeah, it's cool. I've seen a bright blue one along the way. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that was on the other day. Yeah. How did eating that go? <laughs> That's when you were home late that night, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you woke up in the morning and you had a sore head and a sore bum. I'm not even... I'm, <laughs> I'm still not home from that one. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it's about half seven at the moment. Um, we've all had a, a big feed of um, Caleb's chilli. Um, just waiting for Phil to come back to have his share. Be really quick. We might eat it. Um, hopefully he's all good. Hopefully he's got an animal. It should be good. Um, so I'm waiting for Phil and these two fellas over here somewhere. They're going to go up river and um, yeah, see if they can catch something out in the river flats up there. Hail Mary. Hopefully they can get something. It's uh, last day, we're flying out tomorrow. Uh, 7.54 and I am pretty sure I just heard a rifle shot from upstream. So I think Rich and Caleb, uh, they might have got the Hail Mary. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. That's where we shot from, up by that short white log. And the deer 
I'm standing here, sort of the bullet's gone underneath it, gone into the sand bank there. I can't see any evidence of blood. I see a couple of bits of hair on that log. That's about it. Go for a bit of a search around. Phil's finally come home. Starting to get a bit worried about the, the old fella. Thought he might have fallen over in the creek. Just hope he's got an animal. So then, the deer's bum lifted its head and I went, oh shit, and loaded my rifle. It heard the click, looked at me, but oh, I've got to shoot it. Boom. Was it still last one to you? Sort of quartering yeah. that way. And um, then it bounded away and I thought, okay, lung shot. That'll be alright. And um, took the dog down there. Caleb after he came back and Caleb saw it bounding away. So I've got proof. Witness. Yeah, I was mid weed. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it. Shaked it. I heard it. I was like, oh, I was just checking and all that. Did, did you turn around and wee on? I was like, <laughs> did you wee on yourself? Uh, well, real Richard, did you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't standing next to me. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, went over there and, yeah, followed the dog through the scrub and she just wanted to carry on going up the hill. Uh, no blood? No, no blood. It's and, too wet anyway. And we went back to the scene and some encouragement from Caleb, I did some digging around and then I, could, I found the bullet hole and if, if the deer was standing here where Caleb is, the bullet went down there. Yeah, too so low. I, it must have been low. I, my gun's had a knock. Maybe that's it. Maybe I was just in too much of a hurry. What sort of trouble are we coming on? Airbus. Pardon? Airbus. Homework? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, this is me talking about how I didn't shoot any deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a sorry <laughs> score sheet, eh? But that's hunting. Two seen, zero yeah. shot. Lots of wildlife though. Yeah. Good wildlife out yeah. there. So this is all data that goes back to the um, Seeker Foundation, which helps them uh, with their programs and their trapping and stuff like that. So it's uh, no it's, it's not all fun. There's a bit of science too. Yeah. Yeah. It, it plugged for Nick Singer. Good work. Yeah. Doing oh, all yeah. these traps. Doing all the traps. Good man. Top man, eh? Feel doing well. Uh, hunt. Phil and I are chilling out, waiting for the helicopter. It's all our gear ready to go. Rich is testing a theory. Theory being his gun's out. I've got, a, I've got another theory. He might be out. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, I don't know. That's not bad. That says I just plain missed last night. I'm going to have to go for a walk. All jokes aside, Rich is a good shot, so he heads back upstream looking for those down deer. But then Caleb comes back with the bullet and no blood. So, no meat for the freezer this trip, but we had our opportunities, that's just hunting. What we did have though was good times with good bastards. If any of you out there are interested in getting involved with some of the good work that the Seeker Foundation is doing, get on the internet, www.seekerfoundation.co.nz. Pay membership and get involved.